we're diving into a topic that's crucial for those of you still running 32-bit PCs. Today, we're talking about breathing new life into that hardware. Yes, we're talking about Linux distros that still support 32-bit architecture. So, in this video, we're going to explore my top 5 picks for Linux distributions that are not only keeping the 32-bit dream alive but are also optimized to run smoothly on less powerful hardware. Let's get to it! Alright, kicking off our list, and it's an absolute titan, a cornerstone of the Linux world, Debian. If you're looking for rock-solid stability and long-term support for your 32-bit machine, Debian is, frankly, one of your best bets. They focus on getting it right, and that philosophy extends beautifully to their continued 32-bit support. Debian's stable release is meticulously tested, ensuring that what you install is as dependable as an old Volvo. This means fewer crashes, less weirdness, and a more predictable experience. One of the massive strengths of Debian is its package management system, APT, Advanced Package Tool, and its absolutely colossal software repositories. Need a lightweight web browser, a basic office suite, development tools? Chances are Debian has it. For desktop environments on a 32-bit system running Debian, you've got plenty of lightweight choices. While you could try to run GNOME or KDE Plasma, you'd be better served by XFCE, LXDE, or LXQT. Debian's installer gives you the choice or you can start with a minimal install and build up. The Debian community is another huge plus. It's massive, knowledgeable, and incredibly helpful. Whether you're troubleshooting an issue specific to your ancient hardware or trying to configure a particular piece of software, there's a wealth of documentation, forums, and mailing lists where you can find assistance. Installation-wise, Debian offers a variety of installer images, including smaller net install images that download packages during installation. So why does Debian continue to support 32-bit, i586 and i686, when so many others have waved goodbye? It's deeply ingrained in their philosophy of supporting a wide range of hardware and providing a universal operating system. In terms of real-world use, a 32-bit machine running Debian with a lightweight desktop can be perfectly adequate for web browsing, email, document editing, coding, or even as a small home server. To sum it up for Debian, if you want unparalleled stability, extensive long-term support, a massive software selection, and a system that respects your older hardware's limitations, Debian Stable is an absolutely top-tier choice for your 32-bit PC. Next up we have MX Linux, a distribution that has absolutely exploded in popularity over the last few years, and for very good reasons. What's particularly awesome for us today is that they continue to provide excellent 32-bit support. MX Linux positions itself as a midweight OS designed to combine an elegant and efficient desktop with simple configuration, high stability, solid performance, and a medium-sized footprint. One of the key things to understand about MX Linux is that it's based on Debian Stable, this is a huge advantage because it inherits all that rock-solid stability and access to Debian's vast software repositories. But what MX Linux does is build on top of that foundation, with a focus on user-friendliness and a curated set of tools that make life easier. The default desktop environment for MX Linux is a highly customized XFCE. Now, XFCE is already known for being relatively lightweight and responsive, making it a great choice for 32-bit systems. But the MX Linux team has tweaked and polished it to a remarkable degree. It looks modern, it's intuitive, and it comes with a sensible default layout and panel configuration that most users will find immediately comfortable. Perhaps the crown jewels of MX Linux are the MX Tools. This is a suite of unique graphical utilities developed by the MX team that simplify a whole host of common tasks. Performance on 32-bit hardware is where MX Linux really shines. Because it's built on Debian Stable and uses XFCE by default, it's already pretty lean. But the MX team does additional optimization work to ensure it runs smoothly even on machines with limited RAM and older CPUs. The installation process for MX Linux is also notably user-friendly. It uses its own installer, which is graphical, intuitive, and guides you through the process smoothly. The community around MX Linux is active, friendly, and incredibly supportive. What MX Linux achieves so well is a balance. For a 32-bit PC, especially if you want something that just works and feels modern without bogging down your system, MX Linux is a very, very strong contender. Chapter 3. Antix, the featherweight champion for ancient 32-bit warriors. 
For truly ancient hardware the machines you thought were destined for the recycling bin, there's Anti-X. If you've got a 32-bit PC with very limited RAM, say 256 megabytes or less, Anti-X is for you. This distro is designed to be incredibly lightweight and run on hardware that most other operating systems can't handle. The core philosophy of Anti-X is no system. Anti-X opts for alternative init systems like Sysvinit or Runit, contributing to its minimal resource footprint. The full edition can run with just 256 megabytes of RAM, and there are even more minimal versions. Anti-X typically uses lightweight window managers like IceWM, Fluxbox, or JWM. These provide basic window management functionalities without the overhead of a complete desktop environment. Anti-X also excels as a live system, bootable from a USB stick or CD. Despite its lightweight nature, Anti-X comes with a surprising number of useful tools and applications pre-installed. For those keeping the 32-bit flame alive on truly vintage machines, Anti-X is a remarkable achievement. It's about providing a functional, responsive computing experience on hardware that would otherwise be e-waste. Chapter 4. Puppy Linux. The pocket rocket for speedy 32-bit operations. Let's talk about a unique Linux distro, legendary for its tiny size and speed, especially on older hardware. Puppy Linux. Need a 32-bit OS that boots fast, runs from RAM, and fits on a tiny USB stick? Puppy Linux is for you. Puppy Linux loads the entire OS into RAM, making operations incredibly fast. Once booted, disk access is minimal, perfect for slow hard drives. Puppy Linux ISOs are just a few hundred megabytes. Despite its size, Puppy is packed with efficient applications. It offers a range of tools for everyday tasks. The frugal install option lets you run Puppy from your hard drive but still loads into RAM. Personal files and settings are saved to a file or folder on your drive. Puppy Linux is highly portable. Create a bootable USB, carry it in your pocket, and boot on almost any PC. Puppy Linux is a collection of distributions built using the Woof CE build system. Different puppets are optimized for various purposes, using packages from major distros like Ubuntu, Debian, or Slackware. For basic tasks on an old 32-bit machine, Puppy Linux is surprisingly capable. How does Puppy manage to be so small and fast? It runs from RAM, uses lightweight apps, and bundles applications as SFS files. Boot times are quick, even on old hardware. Software management is handled by the Puppy Package Manager. The Puppy Linux community is enthusiastic and helpful. For a fast, portable, and charming 32-bit distro, Puppy Linux is worth a try. Chapter 5. Sparky Linux, the versatile all-rounder with a flavor for every 32-bit need. Last but certainly not least on our list of 32-bit champions is Sparky Linux. If you appreciate choice and want a distribution that offers a variety of additions tailored to different needs, all while maintaining excellent 32-bit support, then Sparky Linux should be high on your radar. Sparky Linux offers additions based on both Debian Stable and Debian Testing. For your 32-bit machine sticking with the stable branch is generally recommended for maximum reliability. One of the most compelling aspects of Sparky Linux is its wide array of desktop environment additions. They offer 32-bit versions with LXQ, their flagship, Mate, XFCE and even more minimal options like Openbox, Minimal GUI, and a command line only version, Minimal CLI. This means you can pick an edition that perfectly matches your hardware's capabilities and your personal preferences for a desktop look and feel. Beyond the standard desktop editions, Sparky Linux also offers special editions which are quite interesting. These include Sparky Game Over, packed with games and useful tools for gamers, Sparky Multimedia for audio, video and graphics creation, and Sparky Rescue for system repair. This variety makes Sparky Linux suitable for a broad range of users still on 32-bit systems. A standout feature in Sparky Linux is Aptus. This is their own graphical tool that simplifies installing new applications, updating the system and managing common system tasks. The Sparky Linux community is quite active and friendly, with helpful forums and good documentation available on their website. Performance-wise, the different Sparky Linux editions will vary, but all are optimized to be relatively lightweight. Sparky Linux manages to cater to both Linux newcomers and more experienced users. In essence, Sparky Linux offers a fantastic blend of Debian stability and vast software ecosystem with a user-focused approach that provides choice and convenience. Their continued commitment to providing a range of well-crafted 32-bit editions, coupled with handy tools like Aptus and an active community, 
makes Sparky Linux a compelling option for anyone looking to keep their 32-bit hardware productive and enjoyable to use in 2025. Your 32-bit PC has life yet, so there you have it folks, 5 Linux distros that still support 32-bit PCs and can genuinely breathe new life into that older hardware. We've covered Debian for its unmatched stability, MX Linux for its user-friendliness and performance, Anti-X for those truly ancient machines, Puppy Linux for its incredible speed and portability, and Sparky Linux for its sheer variety and customization options. Hopefully, this gives you a great starting point for choosing the right distro for your specific 32-bit computer and your needs. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.